World War II took place all over the world. While Germany conquered most of mainland Europe, Japan was in the midst of capturing the Pacific and Eastern Asia. Germany had allies in Europe. Italy, Bulgaria, Hungary, and Romania all assisted in capturing Europe and in the invasion of the USSR. In the East, though, Japan seemingly was doing it all on her own. Though upon further examination, Japan did have an ally in the region. This ally was Thailand. Thailand had an interesting history leading up to this point. The nation had avoided being colonized by the British and the French, and instead was seen as a buffer zone between the two empires. This did not mean that Thailand was free from conflict, though. The French had fought wars with the nation and had seized lands that it would use to create French Indochina. This irredentism for lost territory affected the mindset of the Thai rulers, who became comfortable with the status quo but still wanted to regain their lost territory. When the war broke out in 1939, little changed in this part of the world. The Thai leadership was on alert but did not think the French government would fall. When France did fall in 1940 though, the Thai government began to consider snagging the territory France had captured from them. Probing attacks and border skirmishes occurred between the Vichy French and the Thai forces in October of 1940 and continued until early 1941 when the French Navy defeated Thai forces. A stalemate ensued until the Japanese brokered a peace treaty between the two sides that saw the Thai government taking control of parts of their lost territories. Most importantly, the Vichy French held on to most of their French Indochina territory, so tensions had not fully settled. The status quo held strong until a few hours before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. A few hours before the attack on Hawaii, the Thai government received word that the Japanese had landed troops on Thai soil. Earlier in the year, the Thai government had denied the Japanese access to their nation earlier on in the war. The Thai government announced that they would work alongside the Japanese and, after seeing Japanese success in their invasion of British Malaya, entered into a military pact with Japan on December 21, 1941. A month later, Thailand declared war on the Allies and had officially entered the Second World War on the side of the Axis powers. The Thai government sent troops to assist the Japanese in the invasion of Burma and to assist with the fighting against China. The Thai forces took relatively few casualties throughout the fighting, and while on paper they were assisting the Japanese, in reality, Thailand did relatively few things to help the Japanese in East Asia. The Allies even began to refer to Thailand as the Italy of Asia, and it was considered a secondary power. As the war began to turn against the Axis in the Pacific, the Thai government began to look for a way out. Seeing the writing on the wall, the Thai government opened negotiations with China and ended up releasing lots of POWs back to the nation in a sign of good faith and goodwill. Anticipating that the Japanese would not let them leave the Axis without a fight, the Thai government began preparations with a paramilitary force to force Japanese soldiers off of their home soil if the Allies invaded Thailand proper. In the event that the Allies did press their attack into Thailand, 90,000 guerrilla fighters were to rise up and attack Japanese military installations across Thailand. Ports, air bases, and army bases were all going to be attacked in order to hinder a Japanese response to the Allies. The intended goal was to kick the Japanese forces out of Thailand before a prolonged conflict damaged the nation's infrastructure. This plan was never able to be executed, though. Before the Allies had to invade Thailand, the United States dropped the two atomic bombs on Japan, and the war ended. In the aftermath, Thailand gave up the territory that it had conquered early in the war and, in return, were not heavily punished in peace treaties after the war. Following the conclusion of World War II, Thailand would go on to be rebuilt by the United States and would become a U.S. ally during the Cold War. If you enjoyed this episode of Lesser Known History, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day.